tutorial I'll show you how to change the display of points in Civil 3D. Currently there's two pieces that are being displayed here. One is this red X and that's just the marker as well as the label and this is the pink stuff that uh, comes through here, uh, the print pink text for those points. If I go to control points here, uh, under control points there's several options we'll be working with in the properties here. Click properties, you're going to see under the first information tab that there's going to be a point style and then a point label style. So again, the point style refers to the currently what is the red X here and then the point number elevation description. That's going to show you uh, the pink text here, which as we zoom in, you'll be able to see that that is, um, as it spe specifies here, point number elevation and description. So in each of these, if I go to point style, I can edit the current selection under this selection here, I can change what this looks like. And so um, this is just showing you here in the preview what that will look like once it's applied. Now there's different uh, block symbols you can use for that. Um, you can change just the custom portion here. You can also affect um, how big that's displayed here in the, the size portion. So if I just click apply here and hit OK, and we'll hit apply. I'm just going to stay in this window here as we'll continue to edit this. Um, but when I hit apply here, you can see that all of those red markers got changed the same. Now this changed it for the uh, control points as well as for these other markers. So what you'll notice is that this is current point style for the control points is basic. If I hit OK here and I go look at the all points under properties, this is the basic point style here as well. So both of those are using the basic point style. So if I want to differentiate different types of points, I'll show you that I need to go in here to control points and go to properties again under properties. Um, instead of editing this basic style, what I'm going to do is create a new one. So if I create a new style and under information here, I'm just going to call it uh, control points. And under that marker, then I can choose a different marker type for the control points. This can be whatever you want it to be. In this case here, we'll just use this one. So I can hit OK, and then I'll hit apply here, and hit OK. Now what you can see here is that all the control points now have a different uh, marker style than the other benchmark points, these other three points that are here. So this differentiates those um, in that regard. Now if I look at uh, control points again for the label, again go into properties, you can see the point number, elevation, and description. If I want to edit this, I'm going to go to edit current selection. Now under edit current selection I have some information about this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do elevation and description on this one. So we're going to get rid of that point number, and I'll show you how to do that. You have different tabs in here. You've got general. This is just showing you what layer things are on, um, other details that um, at this point we won't go into. But under layout, this is the important point, important part. And under layout, you'll see that um, the point description as well as in this drop down menu, point description, number, and elevation. These are all referenced here on this. And so let's say that I wanted to get rid of this uh, point description. I'm going to click point description, and I hit the red X, and that's going to get rid of that. So now I um, only have point number and elevation left. I can also go in and I can add um, <coughs> different pieces to it. And this would be a, a general text, and I can edit all that. Um, at this point, I'm just going to uh, get rid of that, and that's going to leave the, the point number and the elevation there. So that will be changing that display, and if I click Apply here and OK, and one more time OK, you can see that this changes the label in there. Next thing, I'll show you how to change the color on these labels here. Now if you go back into Control Points one last time, under Properties, and if we edit this point label style, one of the things you'll notice um, in this general tab is that the label here is under layer V node text. And so this is where it's getting its attributes for color um, and display quality. So if 
I just cancel out of this real quick and go to uh, my layer manager. So I'm going to go to home, the home tab here, and then this button here is our layer properties. This is common in Civil 3D. I have a whole bunch of layers here that are all built in automatically to our system. And the V node text, this is the layer that it's under. So if I change this color here, um, just to any of these colors here, and we cancel out of that, you can see that the color on that changes. So you have a lot of options for changing the display of each of those control points as well as the labels.